Hello everyone, today we will learn how to create Microsoft to do task from Gmail. Now let's take a case that you are getting registrations for a campaign and then people are registering you through mail only. So whatever entries you are getting on Gmail, you want them to be entered as a task in your Microsoft to do as well. But since both these applications do not have a direct connection between them, it is difficult for you to do that and you have to do this work of creating a task in your Microsoft to do manually. But what if I tell you that we can actually automate this whole process with the help of Pabli Connect. We will create an integration where our trigger will be new mail receiving in Gmail and our action will be a new task created in your Microsoft to do. Let us learn how to do it. So let us learn how are you going to add task to your Microsoft to do from the Gmails or email that you're receiving for new entries. So we will be doing this with the help of Pabli Connect. So let us learn how to do it. As you can see, this is the landing page of Pabli and on the right hand side, there are two options available for you. Sign up for free and sign in. If you don't have an existing account, click on sign up for free. But as I'm having one, so I will click on sign in, which will take me to the login page of Pabli. I'll click on sign in with Google and then I will be forwarded to this page where I will see all the applications that are provided to us. Because we are going to integrate or we can say that we are going to connect two applications that is Microsoft to do and our Gmail. So we will use Pabli Connect for that purpose. Click on access now and then I will be taken forward to the dashboard of Pabli Connect where I will click on this big blue button on the right hand side which is written create workflow and I will give a suitable name to my workflow. So I have given it the name add task to Microsoft to do from Gmail. Click on create and then I will be taken to this window where I'll see a blank workflow created for me. Now I will be seeing two boxes on one it's written trigger and on the other is written action. Now what is this trigger and action? Trigger is actually an event that will take place in your trigger application. You are going to choose an application over here and as soon as that event takes place, this workflow will proceed forward and an action application you are going to choose and in that application an action will be performed. So our trigger application for this workflow is going to be email parser. Now what is an email parser? It is new for you. I'll let you know that email parser is a feature by Pabli which actually captures the response or captures the email that you are going to receive on your email address or any email address that you are going to connect this webhook with. So you have copied the webhook from here and then you will go back to your Gmail so that whenever you receive an email over here that information will be transferred to Pabli Connect and then further to your Microsoft to do. So what are we going to do is we will go to the settings icon, click on see all settings and then you will go to forwarding and you will add a forwarding address over here. So you will just click on this and paste that webhook here. Click on next and then click on proceed. This way you will be adding a forwarding address over here and to confirm that it is the safe destination for your emails, you will be receiving a confirmation code from here. So you go back to Pabli Connect and see that a response has been captured by Pabli Connect and the confirmation code that you're looking for, you will find in the body text over here. So you drag it down and see this is the confirmation code received. So you copy it from here and go to your Gmail to paste the confirmation code over here and verify. Now when the verification has been done, which means that Gmail will make sure that every time you're going to receive a mail in your inbox. So what it will do, it will send the contents of that mail to your Pabli Connect and the response will be received over here. So what I'm going to do now is I will be sending from a different Google account a mail to my Google account where I have connected this webhook. Before that, I will click on recapture email parser response. Click on yes. And then it's waiting for another response. So I will send a mail. We'll go back to Gmail and wait for it. Refresh your Gmail. And then you can see that you will be receiving a mail over here. See, this is a new mail just received by Pabli. So we'll open this mail and see the subject is new entry. It has been sent to us by Pabli. And then what are the contents? We have received a new entry. The name is this email and age of a person. So this person is registering for a campaign and I have received this entry from some one of my colleague on Gmail and I want to transfer this directly to my Microsoft to do over here. Okay. So I'll go back to Pabli Connect and see if the response is here or not. 
it is still waiting for a response give it 2 3 seconds and it will be here and a response has been received now you can see if you open this response received drop down you will see that the whole list of responses like for example whom the person is sent this message to then the subject of the email is over here then we have the date when it is sent okay and then down when we come to our body text we have received a new entry this was the whole mail that we were talking about this was the mail we received and the information has been captured by pably connect so which means that our work till here has been done but what we need to do is first of all we need to put a filter why because it's a google account i am going to receive many emails all emails might not be related to this entry so i will put a filter over here in my workflow so that only the ones that are about new entry will be forwarded or will be captured by pably connect to work for this workflow so i will add a filter in my next action that is filter filter is again a feature by pably you are putting filter as in that your subject has to be about new entry only so you will just select your subject from here this process is called mapping now what is mapping mapping is actually connecting the two steps in such a way that the information that you have captured in your previous step should be safely transferred to the exact destination for example we want the subject over here you click on this drop down menu type subject and see so subject right now is new entry so it should be equal to new entry only right so this we are going to put manually that every time the subject is captured by pably connect if it is about new entry then only this workflow will be proceeding to the next step okay so we will click on save and send test request and see the status is success and the condition is true so don't do not forget to save this part because we are going to move forward to use another feature by pably that is called text formatter you click on this plus button and add text formatter over here now by the name you can understand text formatter is a feature by pably which brings some of the important changes in text whatever we want so what we basically want is like this is our body text this was the body of the mail but we cannot take this information in this manner to our microsoft to do so what are we going to do for that we are going to extract the name the email address and the age okay one by one using text formatter so we will be using which feature text parser parser is which brings out text from a paragraph the selected text first of all you have to map the text that you want to parse so you map it from capture email parser and what was our body text this was our body text that the text has to be retrieved from this part only now after what and before what so we want for example the name the name is yohan sen so you want that after name colon everything should be taken out and before email that is the name right so after is name which means that after name you start the capturing and before email you stop the capturing okay now you've done this click on save and send test request and see it has split it the text it took all the text that comes after name colon and before email so you've received the name over here you click on save and we are going to apply the text formatter to retrieve the information like the email and the age as well keep closing the window because it is going to be a few more steps again apply the text formatter and then add the event as text parser click on connect no separate process to connect because it is a feature built inside pably again map the same body text and this time you want the email so your after will be email colon that everything after email should be captured and before is going to be what age so make sure you type it exactly how it is in the text okay and again click on save and send test request and the response will be received and see we have received the email in the same way click on save and add text formatter one last time for your age okay again your action application will be text formatter and then the event will be parser map the text from capture email parser and this is the body text this time you want after age so you just write age and colon click on save and send test request and see 
there was nothing after that so he did not put anything in the before section so it automatically came as 21 years this was the age so we have received the text formatter results for all the three important information so we applied this text formatter for three times because we had three different details okay now you will add your destination application that is going to be your microsoft to do because you're going to create a new task in your microsoft to do so you go back to your microsoft to do and see that different lists have been already created over here so you have to decide that in which list you want your task or your entries to go so i want that my entry should go in my task section okay so this is the task where there is one task already present which is already completed so you want to add more task into this list only and all the information that will come over here from public connect will go to this section of your microsoft to do so your event is going to be create a task and then click on connect now you have to click on add new connection because it is a new connection for pably it will log in directly but click on yes to give access to your account do not worry pably connect is 100% safe after this you will be having different fields over here to fill because you are going to create a task now using the information that you've retrieved from so many steps you passed your email then you put a filter then three text formatters so you have multiple things to enter over here so there are the task list you want that it should be open in task because you already opened it so it shows task over here now what is going to be your task title so what is what will be the task title it will be the subject of your email so you look for your subject here this is the subject select the subject so it won't come as subject colon new entry it will just come as new entry okay this is going to be your task title now what will be there in task note in task note you have to put the details that you have passed through text formatter so you will use text parser on one by one first thing was name put a colon and then map your name okay then put a opposite slash and n this will do the work of enter key and then you will say email because you are going to map email now write email and then map your email then again slash n and now you will write age colon okay because if you just put your the name the mail and the age as it is without any subtitle over here then how is the person going to understand what are these details about so you are going to just map the age like this so you have entered the details of the task now no category if you want to put it in other category these categories are according to the importance of that task so i am putting it to yellow category which means it's a basic necessity task priority again i'm setting it to normal the task is not yet started okay now due date and time is something which is not very necessary because we did not enter any due date time okay so because it does not show required so it is not very much necessary for you to fill all the fields if it does not show required which means that you can leave it as it is click on save and send test request and wait for the response see the response is already here the very first thing you need to do is to check for any errors if this response shows any error which means that there might be some problem in your workflow but as you can see there is no error in this response so just click on save and we will go back to our task and see a yellow category new task is created the title was new entry and when you open it you can see the name the email and the age is written over here so it has been mapped very nicely our work has been done beautifully let us close this tab and do a quick recap of our workflow so this was our whole workflow our trigger was email parser it captured the email which is going to be received in my mail account further i will put a filter by pably that i am going to receive multiple mails and all the emails are not going to be about the entries so only if it is about new entry the subject is equal to new entry then only this mail will be forwarded to formatting the text you formatted the name the email and the age by using text formatter you can use it even more times if your text is a lengthy one and then you put your final destination your action application is microsoft to do and where you mapped all the information clicked on save and send test request and a new task was created over here so this was the whole workflow i hope this helped 
not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com and if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.